Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing well. I am Shruti Banerjee. Today I am going to discuss the top 5 interview questions from the topic R and Statistics. These questions are frequently being asked by the top companies during the interview. So let's begin. So our first question is, what are the different data structure in R? We all heard about the word data structure. So what is that? A data structure is a collection of data values. Moreover, we can say it is a named location that can be used to store and organize data. There are four different data structures in R, namely vector, list, matrix and data frame. Let's get more details about them. A vector is a sequence of data elements of the same basic type. All the members in a vector are called components. Next list. Lists are the R objects which contain elements of different types like numbers, strings, vectors and another list inside it. Matrix. A matrix is a two-dimensional data structure. A matrix is also called an array with similar data type. They are used to bind vectors from the same length. Lastly, data frame. A data frame is more generic than a matrix as it contains different columns that can have different data types like numeric, character, logical, etc. Moving to our second question. That is, what is the difference between a vector and a list? We all heard about these two terms in R. So what is the difference between them? A vector represents a set of elements of the same mode which can be integer, floating number, character, complex and a vector has all the elements of same types. Whereas a list is basically a generic vector that contains different objects and it contains elements of the different types. Moving to our third question. What is a factor? A factor is a special type of variable that is used to store categorical variables. A vector can be both ordered and unordered. A factor can contain both integers and strings and it is mainly used in statistical modeling and for plotting. The factor function is used to create a factor and it is reserved for alphanumeric variables. Moving to the fourth question. What is the difference between a data frame and a matrix in R? So we all know that matrix and data frame are mainly the collection of data sets arranged in a two-dimensional regular organization. So let's see the difference between them. Data frames contain heterogeneous input while a matrix contain homogeneous inputs that is all the same type. In matrix, only similar data types can be stored whereas in a data frame, there can be different data types like characters, integers or any other data frames. Lastly, our last and fifth question is, what will be the result of multiplying two vectors in R having different lengths? So our answer will be, the multiplication of the two vectors will be performed and the output will be displayed with a warning message like longer object length is not a multiple of shorter object length. So to understand the answer, let's consider an example. Suppose there is a vector A and B. A equals to C123, where C stands for combine and vector B equals to 2,3. Now, if we multiply these two vectors A and B, we will get the resultant as 266 with a warning message. Why with a warning message? Because the multiplication is performed in a sequential manner. As the length is not the same, so the first element of the smaller vector B will be multiplied with the last element of the larger vector A. I hope that all these five questions are helpful to you all. Thank you so much for watching the video.